Welcome to You Ask For It, where you ask for it and we answer. We give you our opinions or the answers to the questions that you bring in. And today we've got one, part two. Yeah, yeah so if you watch the last video we had on this, uh, the question was, what does the Bible say about saying, oh my God? And when we were first reading this question, we had like three different things kind of all come up. So mm-hmm. we covered already, what does it mean to take the Lord's name in vain? Yep. That's That was part one. But then you brought up uh, another part of, uh, I think it was like, let your yes be yes and your no be no and mm-hmm. not like swearing by the Lord sort of thing. Yeah. So yeah. what does that mean? And uh, I think that that is swearing. You know, we use the word swearing, but when we swear. I prefer cursing. Here again, it's not a cultural thing we do much anymore, but I give you my word in the name of. Uh, we don't do that anymore, but it used to be a very popular thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's why the Bible says, well, you can't even give your word in the name of your head or your authority because you don't even control tomorrow. You know, you have no authority to say this and certainly don't use God. That's where the do not use God by saying, I'll um, I'll be there. I swear by God. I swear by God, I'll be there. The Bible says, don't do that. Don't swear by anything. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Don't emphasize. Don't use God. Don't try and pull the God card. Don't pull a God card to emphasize. <laughs> you can trust what I'm going to say in the name of God mm-hmm. or by me or by anybody. Don't use anybody. Don't swear by anything or anybody. So here's where I think maybe some people's minds may go. What about in court then? When you swear by placing your, mm-hmm. at least I still think they do. I'm not sure. I'm not, I've never uh, been in court. So there's that, mm-hmm. but yeah. placing your hand on the mm-hmm. Bible or even like the, you know, mm-hmm. the, the presidents when they're sworn into office, yeah. well, mm-hmm. if, if, wouldn't that be yeah. the same sort of thing? Just because it's cultural God. doesn't mm-hmm. mean it's scriptural. Uh, I'm not saying it's a uh, necessarily a culture does it to try to keep people's yes, be yes and no, be no on their own guilt conscience. So they're going to use something above them. But the Bible would speak against that for sure. So we shouldn't do that in court. So if no. you ever but find if our, yourselves if in the, court, no, be like, the, no, screw that noise. I ain't follow, doing that. Jesus said no. Follow the laws of the land and do it even that you know in your head that this, well, this doesn't it mean sin? anything. And it doesn't mean anything anyway. People are going to be honest if they're going to be honest. <laughs> I can't lie. I just swore on the Bible. You know what? I mean, what? <laughs> I don't believe the Bible or follow any of its teachings and believe Jesus yeah. is Lord, but I will this time. <laughs> Let your yes be yes, your no be no. We shouldn't have to do that over a Bible in court. I don't know where that came from. Mike. That's an interesting thing. Where did that come from? I just yeah. thought of it while you were talking. Yeah. Yeah, but you're, he's saying, well, why did that ever become yeah. a thing? Why is that a thing? Why? Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Is and I'm saying next time you're in court, say, get that out of here. <laughs> because Try it. according to my faith, that's a sin and okay. I refuse but to But how sin. would you do the Romans deal then about following, submitting to the laws and the governing authorities over the Would land? you say that swearing for your yes, your, your yes or no based on what, mm-hmm. was it Jesus who said it or Paul who said it? It was Jesus. It was Jesus. Hey, no. Yeah, it was Jesus who said it. Are you Let sure? You, no, I'm not. Let, I'm just thinking about it as I'm talking. Because I can't remember. It's, I, no. can, I feel like I can read one in it's, like a Corinthians or something yeah, and then one in a gospel. I don't think it's a Jesus thing. Okay, in either case, it's... No, Jesus did do the teaching about for you don't know even your own head of tomorrow. So I think Jesus taught on it too. Okay. We'll have to check that. Either case, would you say doing... What we know not to is a sin. Well, we talked about this in the other episode. Don't you have to believe what you're doing? Okay, for Christians. Christians who are on the court stand Mm -hmm. and being sworn in. Mm -hmm. Is swearing by anything other than your yes or yes or no, no, or swearing on God, Mm -hmm. is that a sin or is it not? It would be uh, God tells us not to do that on our own will or authority. In other words, if it's my idea and I'm telling you something, I'm not sure if it applies if I'm being asked a question. So if I want to commit murder, it's okay. But if a non-Christian tells me to commit murder, I'm free and clear. Oh, snap. Uh, I just can't. I just want to. I'm just playing this out, you know? I would say. It would be a sin, right? To 
believe that I am actually <laughs> swearing on the Bible to do would be a sin. But I am not. I'm doing this to go through the motions. I I I so get candy on Halloween. <laughs> I get candy on Halloween, but I'm not believing. I'm participating I'm not in Satan. a Satan thing, right? So you can swear on the Bible, go knowing the motions that of this is not my things. heart or motive. Hey, I pay my taxes with a smile, but I don't mean it. Okay. <laughs> so are you being inauthentic? Oh, totally. Oh, totally. Mm. But I'm a sinner. Oh, okay. Well, there is that. There is that. So if you're in court, lie to them because that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to do this, but I don't really mean it. But I'm going to tell you I mean it. I'm going to lie truth, to fool you, but truth. in my heart, I know. Tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. This is like a very niche question for those of us that ever find ourselves as a witness in, in court. This, in this predicament, <laughs> yeah. What would be so the God. right thing You're to do? You're requiring me to hold my hand here, and so, so I'm going to. But what I'm doing is telling you I will tell the truth. Mm -hmm. It's a formality. I'm not sure we're held to okay. formalities, you know? Okay. Hmm. What do you think? Yeah, put it in the comments. Let's get some, uh, let's get some opinions going. Mm -hmm. Let's see if... Uh, who you side with here? Have you been in court and had to swear on the Bible? And maybe you lived a perfect life up until that point. And yeah. Now you need a savior. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Why are you in court? <laughs> As a witness. Oh, As a witness. witness. As a witness. Okay. witness okay. to a crime. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> we got one more part yeah, at least. We got one more. So uh, <laughs> stick around for part three. Or, uh, actually, you'll have to wait for part three, won't you? Yeah, it'll come okay. out in a week. All right. See you at part three. <laughs>